Hello everyone, welcome to Novation. I'm Shantanu and I bring to you the second part of our January 2020 current affairs session. And friends, uh, in this video again, we are going to uh, attempt almost 20 to 23 questions. And I'll request you to please attempt the assignment questions also uh, and uh, tell me the answers in the comment sections. Also, uh, this video was to be uploaded a little earlier, but due to some uh, previous engagements, I could not uh, do it. So I'm sorry for that. But I hope the video reaches to you on time and uh, is helpful to you. So without any further ado, let's start our session. The first question for today, which of the following countries is going to host the 19th Council of Heads of Governments of the SCO nations? So friends, SCO is a group of uh, nations that is uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And uh, the correct answer is India is going to host the 19th, uh, this 19th Council of Heads of the Governments and uh, what uh, let's see more about SCO. So friends, SCO is a economic and security block. So it's a group of countries which have come together for economic and security benefits. And it comprised of China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. But now after 2017, India and Pakistan have also been included uh, in this list of SCO members. Okay, let's move ahead. Which of the following state governments has decided to set up Gandhi chairs and pillars in universities and colleges. So friends, we will see what are these Gandhi chairs and pillars. Uh, the correct answer is A. Madhya Pradesh. And uh, so what is this Gandhi chair first of all? So Gandhi chair will be set up under political science department of the various universities. And uh, this, this, this will be a position and under which any scholar who will be doing research uh, focusing on Mahatma Gandhi will be given an incentive of rupees 60,000 per month. And similarly, Gandhi Pillar uh, will showcase uh, various sayings or writings of uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi so that the younger generation can easily relate to him and also uh, apply his um, teachings in their current life. Okay, So the correct answer is Madhya Pradesh. Moving ahead. Who among the following has been recently appointed as the new Prime Minister of Russia? So friends, you might have heard the government of uh, Russian government has recently resigned uh, so that political changes can happen under the president uh, Vladimir Putin and the correct answer for, for the question is B, Mikhail uh, Misustin and you can see him in the photograph. So let's move to the next question. Which of the following countries has started the production of S-400 missiles for India? Friends, the correct answer is B, Russia. In 2018, India made a deal with Russia that it will purchase S-400 missiles from Russia. So the PTN, so Russia has started the production of S-400 long range, range surface to air missile system for India and there will be five units which are going to be delivered in the next five years to India and this deal was of around $5 billion. So you can understand uh, the deal was a big one and there was one more concern in 2018 uh, that US was about to put sanctions on India but uh, I would say that we had a good diplomacy and uh, USA did not put any sanction and we could go ahead with the deal. Moving ahead. Which among the following countries has reported an outbreak of a mysterious new coronavirus? Friends, you might have heard this new virus has come out from which country? It is B, China. It has recently reported a huge outbreak of this virus, a deadly virus actually. So um, nearly 80 people have died in China due to uh, this coronavirus and uh, around 30, uh, 3000 people have so far uh, found to have this disease and majority of such people are in China. Even some people are being tested uh, on the airports who are coming from China to India whether they are having this uh, deadly disease or not. Okay, So we would uh, like not to have any uh, person coming from there to have such a disease otherwise it can be uh, contracted uh, in Indian uh, people also. Okay, so uh, we need to be careful. Moving ahead. Which state government has approved a proposal to create three state capitals Vishakapatnam, Kurnool and Amravati. Friends, this is a no-brainer, very easy answer. It is B, Andhra Pradesh. If you are knowing such cities, you can easily answer the question. So let's see the PTN. Proposal is to have executive capital in Vishakapatnam, legislative in Amravati and judicial in Kurnool. So there are three uh, main pillars of a democracy, executive, legislative and judicial. So all these have, will have a different capital. Okay, uh, moving ahead. 
who among the following union ministers will lead Indian delegation to WEF 2020 in Davos? Friends, what is WEF? It is World Economic Forum. So it may be possible that you will be given only an acronym. So the answer for this question is D, Mr. Piyush Goyal, who is the present uh, Commerce Minister. So as I told you, Commerce Minister Mr. Piyush Goyal will also hold bilateral meetings with ministers of Australia, South Africa, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, Korea, and Singapore. So there will be a meeting related to uh, commerce and business with the uh, ministers of these countries. Okay, moving ahead. Okay, an, an interesting question. Which of the fallen badminton players has won the Indonesia Badminton Master 2020 Women's Single Title? And you can already see the picture of the winner in the photograph. She is uh, Ratchanok Intanon. Okay, and she is from Thailand. So Thailand's Intanon defeated uh, Spain's uh, Carolina Marin in these sets in one hour and 20 minutes long match. Uh, this is we are talking about the final. Okay. So to remember, Thailand's Intanon uh, won the uh, women's single title. Moving ahead, uh, as per Jal Shakti ranking released uh, recently, 2019, which Indian state has been ranked first as the most water efficient state? Friends, the correct answer is A. Gujarat. Gujarat is presently the most water efficient state as per this ranking. Let's have a look at the important PTNs. So in the previous year ranking, Telangana was the Uh, number one uh, ranked in this ranking, but this year uh, Gujarat, which was previously seventh in last year ranking, it was seventh. It has topped the uh, list, and Delhi is among the worst performers with the rank thirty five this year. Uh, it is the capital of India, but it is performing uh, uh, really bad. And Gujarat has also topped the Scotch State of Governments Governance two thousand nineteen ranking. So another important thing related to Gujarat. Uh, it has uh, topped the state of governments 2000 governance 2019 ranking and this ranking is according to various parameters like uh, how is the health and hygiene in the state how is it performing in the administration so various rankings uh, various parameters are considered in uh, scotch uh, state of governance ranking okay moving ahead which country has successfully test fired nuclear capable k4 ballistic missiles recently friends the correct answer is c india I hope you might have heard and read the news about it. So India successfully test fired this 3,500 kilometer. This is the range of the missile, uh, strike range, nuclear capable K4 submarine launched bal ballistic missile, and from where it was uh, launched off the coast of Andhra Pradesh. Okay, this is also important. Moving ahead, what is India's rank in recently released WEF Global Social Mobility Index? So friends, uh, this index actually measures how easy it is for a uh, person who does not come from a very privileged uh, strata of the society that that person can also uh, get equal opportunities, get good job, get good education. So this index of World Economic Forum measures uh, such opportunities, and in this ranking, India is presently ranked at B seventy six. So India needs to improve a lot on it. Uh, the social uh, democracy uh, mobility index measures equally shared opportunities in the economies as i explained you and rank 1 is of denmark out of 82 countries so out of 82 countries denmark is ranked number 1 in this index okay the next question which of the following bodies has recently launched vajra a uh, blockchain based pla uh, payments platform friends it's an uh, easy one because you can read the options The first is uh, the C one is National Payment Corporation of India. So it's logical that uh, this body might have launched this payment platform. So the correct answer is C, National Payment Corp uh, Corporation of India. And let's see the PTN. So it has the platform has been named as Vajra, and it will be based on the distributed ledger technology (DLT). So it's a new technology which will promise a uh, very high secure and temper evident transactions. Online transactions. So basically, more and more secure features have been added to the online transaction that we perform regularly. Okay, moving ahead. Who among the following Indians has been conferred the Order of Australia honor? And this honor is the Australia's highest civilian honor. Friends, it's an important question. The correct answer is T. Kiran Mazumdar Shaw. And Kiran uh, Shaw is the uh, founder of Biocon, which is a, a pharmaceutical company. And Biocon founder Kiran Mazumda Shaw was conferred the honor for a contribution toward advancing the country's relationship with India. So she has worked tremendously hard so that uh, the 
relation between India and Australia can be enhanced. So that's why she has got this highest civilian honor of Australia. Moving ahead, which state's chief minister has been conferred with the Champion of Change Award of 2019? Friends, the correct answer is uh, Jharkhand CM, and the name is Hemant Soren. So Mr. Hemant Soren won the award, and why? For his developmental work in Bar Barhait and Dhumka Assembly constituencies in the state. So he has done uh, good developmental work there. That's why he had got the award, uh, Champion of Change. Moving ahead. As per India Today Mood of Nation MOTN poll, who among the following has been adjudged at the as the best performing chief minister in India? Friends, the correct answer is A. CM Yogi, Yogi Adityanath, and he is the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, let's see the PTN. So, Mr. Yogi Adityanath has got 18% of the total votes and he has become number one uh, for the second time. So, previous year in this ranking, he was number one and this year also. And uh, the second rank, joint runner-ups, there are two runner-ups, Arvind Kejriwal, who is the Chief Minister of Delhi and Mamta Banerjee, who is the CM of West Bengal. And both of them received 11% votes each. And CM Nitish Kumar has been ranked, uh, has come on the third position. Okay, moving ahead. Which of the following banks has recently launched cardless cash uh, withdrawal facility from its ATM with a limit of 20,000 per day? You can withdraw 20,000 uh, cash per day without any card. Friends, the correct answer is T, ICICI Bank. Let's see the PTN. Uh, so uh, this service enables customer to withdraw uh, from all over the 15,000 ATMs of ICICI all over the country by simply raising a request on iMobile. So friends, do remember this uh, mobile application. This is the mobile application dedicated to ICICI Bank and uh, using this app, the customers of ICICI Bank can withdraw uh, almost 20,000 rupees cash per day okay, without any card. Moving ahead. What is India's rank in Global Talent Competitive Index released recently? And the correct answer is C, 72. India is ranked 72 in this index. And Switzerland, Aust uh, United States and Singapore lead the index with this uh, rank first, second and third. Moving ahead. Who is the first Bollywood star to feature in luxury fashion giant Louis Vuitton global campaign? So friends, the correct answer is uh, D, Deepika. Deepika Padukone is the first uh, Bollywood star to feature in such a uh, giant uh, luxury brand uh, Louis Vuitton. And uh, let's see the PTN. So Deepika will feature alongside various global um, celebrities like Emma Roberts, Sophie Turner and Chloe Grace Moritz uh, for the pre-fall 2020 campaign of the brand. So friends, of course, uh, Louis Vuitton knows that India is going to be a big uh, market for them in the coming years because uh, more and more people are getting richer and their aspirations are increasing. So they need to engage a celebrity from India also. Otherwise, uh, people would not be able to easily connect with the brand. So that's a marketing technique basically. Moving ahead. Name the online monitoring por portal recently launched by the Union Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. Friends, the correct answer is C, Gati. And let's see about this platform. So Gati portal can be accessed from NHI website and through this portal, uh, various project related issues can be raised and addressed by the government. Okay. Moving ahead, which of the following Bollywood, uh, which among the following Bollywood actresses won the Padma Shri Award recently? So friends, a recently Padma Shri awardees uh, has been named and the correct answer for this is A. Kangana Ranaut has won uh, this Padma Shri this year. Also various celebrities uh, have won Padma Shri. For example, Adnan Sami has also won this uh, award, but there is a lot of controversy which has been erupted because people uh, from the one side of the political ideology are feeling that uh, the BJP government is uh, intentionally giving awards to such people who are uh, supporting the government in the cause for uh, CAA and RC. Okay, so they think that the awards are falsified. Okay, but uh, of course, government is also giving its reason why they have uh, given the awards to all these people. Okay, so moving ahead. So friends, now we have come to the assignment part of the question. I know uh, the questions are a lot, six questions, but I cannot put them all in the video. Otherwise, uh, it will be a long one. So please, uh, I'm, I'm not going to read them one by one. Please do attempt them and tell me the answer in the 
comment section please okay and help others okay we have come to an end to this session i hope it was helpful and i hope the video reaches to you in time before your exam so if you liked it please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to novation for more awesome content and friends if possible uh, i'll be posting some more questions related to january because of course it has not ended yet ended yet and uh, i'll be posting them in the community tab okay so uh, bye bye until next time